Christmas morning! It's Christmas morning! Oh my god! Oh, I wonder where it is. I can't wait to see it. Merry Christmas, viewers. This year around, I decided I'd review something classic, something treasured, something beloved, something that is not this game. I'm obviously talking about the recent released Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Wii and the DS. This game comes from us from Red Wagon Games, a family-friendly company. And I don't really expect a whole lot from this no-name company, but I at least expect a game from them. What we have here is not so much as a game, as it is a way to rip you off of $20 this holiday season. Merry Christmas. Bounce it to the tree. Allow me to explain. This game only has four mini games in it. I'll repeat that. Only four mini games in this. Each mini game probably comes out to a time of less than two minutes. So you're looking at about around six minutes worth of gameplay. On top of that, they have the balls to put in a story mode. I'm not joking. That's one of your options there, a story mode. So, six minutes to go through the entire game in sequence. Woo! Perfect! I'm a dentist! So allow me to go into a bit more depth about these minigames. The whole premise of this game is you're trying to save Christmas. So it has somewhat of a relevance to the actual cartoon special. You do such things as painting toys, decorating the castle, delivering presents, and baking cookies. Yes, nothing says I'm saving Christmas like baking cookies with Mrs. Claus. It's nice to see Rudolph can take a bit of time off. And the controls aren't anything to speak of either. It's pretty poor what they have for the controls. Do you think they at least spent a bit of time on something for this game? That's not the case. The controls are nothing more than a wiggle waggle fest, a phrase that I've never used for reviews ever. But that is what it is. Uh, you can just move your arm around and literally stuff happens, you'll do the game, you'll actually play the mini games just by doing nothing. Yay! We... The music is boring and repetitive. They only have, I swear to God, which sounds like two songs in the whole game. One is the one that they've overused, and the other one is Real the Red-Nosed Reindeer. If you want to listen to that, look no further than the credits. Congratulations, you fucked up the most simplistic thing in the whole game. How is it so hard to put that as your title music? The main menu should have that song as your music. What the fuck? Oh, and there's voice acting. Yeah, there's about six characters that get voices in this. You got Sam the Snowman, the guy who narrates the story mode. You have Yukon Cornelius, got Rudolph, Rudolph's love interest, Santa Claus, and the dentist elf whose name slips my mind at the moment. Time! Santa needs your help decorating his tree and filling his bag of toys for Christmas. Where is Santa, you ask? Why, he All of them are poorly done. None of them sound like any of the characters are supposed to represent, except for Yukon Cornelius, but I mean, that's a stretch. Congratulations, your yahoos sound pretty good. Away. I have to note that there is multiplayer in this game. You can play with another person, but good luck finding someone else who wants to play this with you. As I said, there's there are other characters to play as other than just Rudolph. You got a total of five characters to play as in the mini games, so you got some variety there. Overall, I'm giving this game a 1 out of 10. This is a poor excuse for a game. A real poor excuse for a game. I played Flash games with way more content, way more enjoyability and addictiveness than this game. It has, like I said, it has no content. They expect you to pay $20 for this. I would not even pay $5 for this. And on top of that, the music, the controls, is a pile of shit. This game sucks. I feel completely ripped off of my 25 bucks I spent on this thing. You wanna, screw it. I'm gonna go take this game back!
got my 20 back. 